and welcome back to my channel. My name is Aretha and so if you haven't been following me for the past two days, you'll know that I'm on a three day eating clean challenge. And so today is day three, has been the worst of all the days. <laughs> I know I said that I was gonna try to do better this day, but it's not working out very well. So I woke up this morning late and then I got a call from my friend Tanya and it's her birthday today. I did have it in my calendar, but in my half sleep was like, what? What day is it today? Anyways, so I came over. I was gonna make her lunch and have a good, and use the meal and like basically cook her lunch for her birthday. And so I just got all the ingredients together and like got in my car and we're gonna take our dogs for a walk after. So that's gonna be my exercise today. And I realized and I got here that I left like most of the ingredients that I needed at home. So that was just a wash. So. I ended up having breakfast and I didn't actually, I ran out of Greek yogurt, so I couldn't even make the breakfast in the menu. So I just made what I had for breakfast yesterday because I just loved it so much. So I had spinach and eggs and, and tomatoes. So it was really good. Again, I didn't eat the bread because I'm not a big bread person. So I was a little bit hungry still. So I started snacking on some stuff, but healthy things. So I had cucumbers with me, so I ate cucumbers. And then I had um, I had my green peppers, like like, you know, like the, red, yellow, green peppers, like I had a thing of that, so I started snacking on those. And then my friend Tanya also had this leftover barbecue chicken in her fridge, so I ate that. So yeah, it's doing pretty good. So I'm gonna bring my snacks with me, so I do have more snacks with me. I have my grapes and stuff. So hopefully that's gonna work out well. But yeah, this seems to be like, even worse. I don't know, maybe I can't follow a menu. I mean, I guess if you just give me like, things like options of what I can have for breakfast, what I can have for lunch, what I can have for dinner, and then allow people to just mix and match and decide what they're gonna have on what day, I guess it makes sense. I don't know, for me, I'm just not a big cook in the first place, so yeah, I didn't even really know how to meal prep, and I don't think I did it very well, because then, yeah, I should have like labeled them which days they were, I don't know, but in hindsight, thinking back, I guess I could have planned it better. But, oh well. I'm still eating good, I'm still eating the meals and still sticking to the foods, other than yesterday and the red meat. That was an accident. <laughs> yeah, it, I literally finished half the burger before I realized that it was red meat and I'm like, oh crap. Yeah. Anyways, so now we just finished having breakfast and well, I finished having breakfast, she had lunch and now we are gonna go for a walk and take our doggies for a walk in somewhere out nice. It's nice and sunny outside. So oh, I will see you soon, or no, no, they're going to come with us on our walk. Yeah. So come with us on our walk. <laughs> And my friend randomly just picks fruits to eat. Will you die <laughs> or you live? Only time will tell. Mm. No, most of these berries are edible, but pretty sure that these are, are at least might be toe cherries is what's. Mm. I was looking for half the juice. Because these are better. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking at us. You face. know, <laughs> that's the trail that I never want to go up and down. And you know, it's bad when even the dog's like, no. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go that way. I don't think we've gone that way last time. No, we didn't oh, go across the bridge. Let's go. Do you want to take the me. short path? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I 
Fish. Or do you want to go down the long path? Ugh. This incline's not as bad as that one, but we can go down the longer path. Hmm. Okay, I feel like this is a challenge and I should accept this challenge. Come on, Bert. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's try to make it down. Yeah, maybe that one's better. Catch some puppy down to you. <laughs> okay, all right, let's go down this one. Come on, puppy. In. Okay. This is easy. Right? What? <laughs> yes. The grassy path looks a lot better. Let me kick the dog. I think I okay. Okay, you you hold the dogs. Let me somehow get my ass down this hill. <laughs> I'll keep her. <laughs> As your dog drags you down the hill. <laughs> he's gonna pull me on my ass is what he's gonna do. Well, I guess the good news is if you actually look little puppy on, she ain't gonna go far. <laughs> She's actually walking slowly behind you. <laughs> ah. She's like, you know, we're just trying to trip you. <laughs> okay. I think we're good. All right. All okay, right. now I got two dogs trying to pull me. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Wipe out. Ow. Are you okay? I don't know. How do you feel? You're alive still. How's your legs? Okay, I can take puppy in now. You just want to keep on it? <laughs> okay. How's your foot? That's all, that's the main thing. It's okay, you're fine. You're going to get scraped and bruises and stuff. We're going to walk this off here. Yeah. We're not going down the house. Go somewhere new. We're supposed to be going into a new adventure. Look at how smoky it is. So there are these raging fires in BC and even though I think they're a little bit under control now, right? I think. That doesn't mean keep yeah. the on the news now. Are, they are under control but because of the way we are the wind blows this way and so the smoke is now making its way here. You know we're like four hours away. And oh my goodness, look at how muggy it is. I mean, there are clouds, but look at the city. That's usually clear. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Area. Awesome. How did this happen? Where did I ever find this happen here? This is what happens when you explore. trail oh I know where that is and then and then there's um 
there's a footbridge that brings you into Rundle Park. Here. Yeah. Up there. Oh, look. You are now leaving, I mean, leaving off leash area. You are now entering an on leash area. Be responsible and leash up. gotta go and get your supper for your birthday for your happy happy birthday <laughs> and what's your mom making you for your birthday spaghetti <laughs> spaghetti her spaghetti though it's what makes different. Different. okay wait wait what makes her spaghetti what makes her spaghetti special because my mom makes it her way and it just it, i don't know what it is do you is. know what that is she adds different things and she won't say what. Oh, it's she a just, secret. Yes, and it, it tastes different. Okay. It does. It does. It's just, it's mom's. You know <laughs> when mom's would cook? This my is, mom's a horrible cook. Okay, well then, <laughs> so, if I can have my mom's cooking, I will go mm -hmm. for my mom's cooking over my cooking and eat it. It's different when you got domesticated moms. <laughs> yeah, my aunt, my auntie, so my aunt, Hilda, who's my mom's oldest sister. Show them how green the water is. Oh. So my aunt uh, Hilda, who was my mom's oldest sister, was the only one who was actually taught how to like to like feed and to like cook and do things like that. Because when when they were all taken to like residential school, my aunt didn't go. They kept her behind, and. Um, so she was one who like knew how to like bead and stuff. That's why I was saying I had such a hard time buying moccasins and things like that because my aunt made me everything. Like she didn't charge me money. She just made me stuff. Like even as a child, all my baby stuff, everything. Mm -hmm. She made all my stuff. So I didn't actually know how much it was worth. All I know is it was made for free. Sentimental value is worth more. Exactly. So when she died, and I was like, okay, I guess I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna finally buy stuff, but it was hard for me to finally get stuff to buy. I realized that how expensive it was. And so my aunt was making fun of my mom because my aunt, my aunt could cook a lot of things and I liked her cooking. It was like really good. You know, it was like, well, these things like that, like she would make really good foods. And my aunt was teasing my mom with, like you <laughs> and my aunt was doing like it's because your mom's got career woman's cooking <laughs> <laughs> so I, I always remember that my aunt told me because your mom's got career woman's cooking <laughs> come on kid come on we're heading back up yeah this is the worst part about walking up the hill or walking down the hill is having to walk back up. This one's not bad. It's over there. <sighs> I know. I'll let you have him. He slightly pulls you up. <laughs> he does, seriously. <laughs> not and not like this one. He was trying to pull me down. Uh, okay. I'll carry you up the hill. Ooh. Ooh, hold on my bears. Ooh. She's added it to me. And then this is the second half of the walk where you add seven pounds. <laughs> okay. I don't have enough hands to do this and hold my dog at the same time. It was mountain goating up that damn hill. Oh my god. What the hell is mountain goating? Have you seen that hill at Folk Fest? It literally is like straight up and it's literally like trying to hop up it. <laughs> is that how a mountain goat walks? I would say so. <laughs> I was like, 
had to stop three times just to get up that damn hill. And even then I was like, help me up. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. <sighs> Look at this sleep, steep incline. We're making it. <laughs> We're making it. Uh, yeah. So. There's this nasty prune. Huh. That's why I see See? Oh. They're dried up already. Oh. Yeah, we, we've walked almost 4,000 steps. We're at the top of the hill now. Because it's a river valley, you have to. And I'm still eating berries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you have to walk down into the river valley. Uh, to walk along. Welcome back. So, uh, if you noticed yesterday, oh my goodness, I didn't vlog the rest of the evening, and there was a good reason for that. I don't even know. I don't even know if you could hear me during the footage or whatever because I haven't listened to it yet. But on my walk, it was so smoky, like so bad. Like our downtown view usually doesn't look like that from that bridge. I've done that walk before across that bridge, and it doesn't usually look that bad. And yeah, it was <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> And I don't know, it was, it was one of those things where, like in the moment, I was just like working, like, you know, getting exercise and stuff, I was just doing all those things, but when I got to my car and actually was sitting down, I had some grapes, so I had some grapes that evening, and then um, after that, I, I literally like dropped on my friend, picked up my mom, went home, my mom was like, hey, let's, let's cook some dinner. And I was going to cook dinner, but I just like, at that point, I was just not feeling that great. Like I had a little bit of a headache, not too bad yet. And I was like, you know what, can I just lay down for a second? Cause I'm just, I'm not feeling that good. So I laid down for a little bit, tried to get up, attempted to like get up and go cook. And I literally had like the biggest headache ever. And I don't know, I have such bad allergies, like really, really bad allergies to the point where, um, I've had prescription strength allergy medication. So basically like you have regular strength at um, medication that you can buy over the counter, but I actually got prescription ones was like double the ones that you can get over the counter. Yeah. And because I'm so bad with medications that like, it doesn't matter what it is. If it's non-drowsy, it actually makes me more drowsy. So I did take some yesterday and oh, I had such a migraine. And if you have, if you've ever had bad sinus headaches like I've had that turn into migraines where it's like it makes you so nauseous that's how much of a headache you had so I just took my medication and some Tylenol and I went straight to bed so yeah I didn't feel good yesterday so I went to bed I went straight to bed and uh, woke up this morning I mean I, I, I woke up like about 10 o'clock because I still was not feeling good so I woke up about like 10 got up made some breakfast and because of the three-day challenge one of the challenges that you could have done is um, if you want to you can, you can continue doing it for three more days so I've decided to do it for three more days uh, I have been eating all the things that are on there and have been good at sticking to what's on the menu even though I haven't been following the days so today is gonna be another one of the days where I didn't eat a lot I just ate the breakfast and I had a banana for snack but that's all I've eaten today and now I finally just woke up from my afternoon nap I'm yeah allergy medication literally like puts me to sleep so bad like I kid you not I have to take it because it helps me with my allergies but I have like the hardest time staying awake 
and this is non-drowsy. <laughs> yeah. So it's just it's just horrible. I I'm so bad. But I had to take it. I still don't feel good. I have a slight headache. Um I had a slight headache this morning, that's why I went to bed and took some Tylenol again. I know I didn't take Tylenol this morning. I took Tylenol last night. This morning. Actually I didn't take anything this morning. I just drank water. Water and had another breakfast. I had the, the spinach, sauteed spinach and tomatoes and eggs. And this time instead of, and I didn't take a picture of it, I should have taken a picture of it. Um, this time I didn't do like scrambled eggs, I made it into an omelet and then I folded it and then when I folded it I was like, oh I want cheese, I was craving for cheese so I was like, I should have put cheese inside. So I ended up sprinkling some cheese on the top and it was really good. I really enjoyed it. So yeah, that's been my update. Oh, and so we did a weigh-in today and my weigh-in today I lost 2.4 pounds. I haven't done my measurements yet, but I will put that all in the description and I will put the link to the challenge in the description as well again. So if you're interested in joining, I believe uh, she said she was going to do it at least once a month. So if you're interested in learning more. And I also joined, um, part of it was to join um, Team Beachbody or something like that where you put in stuff. Yeah, I think she's a coach on there too. So yeah, if you want to join me on there, feel free. And that's basically it. Other than my walk, I didn't really do much, so, yeah. Um, one of the things that I want to get into is drinking more smoothies because I do notice that, like, sometimes, um, last minute I get invited to things and I have to just grab and go, and I need either to prepare more things that I can grab and go or, yeah, find things that I can quickly make that can be a grab and go too, so, yeah. Anyways. I have to go to a board meeting now, I have to go take a shower, and yeah, go to my board meeting. And it's only Thursday. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will see you again soon.